Hello everyone, I'm Lilo McGriddle and welcome back to Ascendant Hearts. Yes, I am still recording from the previous session that I was doing, so forgive me if my voice is starting to go or I don't sound as hyped up. I mean, I should be, because you know, I have energy and I love playing this game, so we're gonna get right to it. We met up in the morning and we're in the town square and we're about to go check up on Dr. Takizawa, see if he finally has the results that we want. So in the morning, we meet up in Town Square. Aiko and Shis looks like they're ready for a tough fight. Shiori looks tolerant, at least. Well, let's get this over with. Is everyone prepared for what could be our final battle against the Dark Wolves Master? It won't be. Should we fully be- should we be fully prepared just in case? Hm. I'll take that as a yes. Hayato? Yes? Are you ready? I have my sword and a few healing items in my inventory, and after we split up last night, I turned my skill points for charge, a new skill that taught me how to get a running start and ram enemies. Trying it on a real opponent will be a lot trickier than fighting training dummies when I'm ready enough for this. Yeah. To be honest, I don't believe Dr. Takazawa is a mastermind. Maybe he's in league with whoever sent the Dark Wolves, but he doesn't seem to type to coordinate all of these attacks. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Together, we set over Dr. Takizawa's lab. Remember, stay alert for any tricks. If Dr. Takizawa captures us, do you think he'll use us for experiments? Of course not. How do you know? He wouldn't do such a thing. Has he ever experimented on humans as far as you know? No, well, I mean, maybe a few times, but those were volunteers. Oh. Oh, so he has experimented on humans. Are you sure there were volunteers? Sure. Volunteers? That's what I, they were. I really don't want to become a volunteer anytime soon. Don't worry about that. Finally. Oh, I didn't mean to defend Dr. Takazawa. He's still suspicious. However, we do have one key advantage. What's that? You. Me. Oh, you mean because of the prophecy? Of course, if Hayato was the one prophesied to save Lightshire from the Dark Wolves, and Dr. Takizawa is responsible for the attacks, we will be victorious. Even if some of us were captured, Hayato would win and save us. I hope so. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but don't do anything dangerous assuming I'll be able to get you out. You have the prophecy behind you. I stop. They take a few more steps and they realize I'm not with them. They turn to look at me. Before we go any further, let's talk about this prophecy. What is there to talk about? Um... Are you sure it's about me? We've been through this. You're a visitor from another world investigating the Dark Wolves. What more proof do you need? Okay, but what if someone else came too? And that's who the prophecy actually meant. What are the chances of that? How should I know? They look at me for a moment in silence. Hayato, where you come from, do people from other worlds show up often? Of course not. Pause. At least, I don't think so. My memories are still cloudy, but the thought of people visiting from other worlds sounds out of place. All I can dredge up from rem remembered conversations in TV shows about aliens. That's not quite the same thing. Excuse me for my English and my stuttering. If someone ever visited my world from another dimension or universe, it would be rare. People would probably argue about what really happened. It's definitely not a regular occurrence. No, I'm sure that doesn't happen. And why would you expect it to hear? Because almost nothing in this world follows the rules I know. Just relax, the prophecy has to be about you. Besides, you don't need to worry about it now anyway, because Dr. Takizawa isn't our enemy. <laughs> things do remain unclear. You think so too? Let's walk as we discuss this. We resume our journey toward Dr. Takizawa's lab. The biggest question is that we don't know how Hayato got here. Did the gods simply summon him? That's a pretty weird thought. Can our gods affect other worlds, or do they have their own gods? Their own gods? Huh. You mean our gods might have made a bargain with the gods of Hayato's world so they could borrow him? You make it sound like I'm an item to be traded. Regardless of how you got here, the second question concerns your memory. Why did the journey leave you with amnesia? Is it simply a side effect? It's not like you forget everything either. You remembered enough to know you were in a different world. 
Yeah, I can tell you a lot about my world, but not much about my own life. The few things I have remembered I'd rather not share. You don't need to know my increasing belief that this sense of friendship and camaraderie is new to me. Oh. Friendship? Actual friendship is new to you. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's the point. What do you mean? Well, if you could remember your own life, you'd want to go home, right? Maybe the gods took away your memory so you'd focus on helping life share before trying to leave. I guess that could be it, but I don't know. I can't remember what my life was like, but when I concentrate on it, I feel a hint of sadness and loneliness. If I remembered everything, maybe I still would have stayed here, especially once I made friends. Then there's an unfortunate possibility. What's that? Perhaps you know something that could help us stop the dark wolves, but because of your accidental memory loss, you no longer remember. Yikes. Yeah, that would definitely be unfortunate. Come on then, prophecy would tell you to get your memories back first. It would say it in a mysterious way, but it would still be there. I doubt anything from my world could help us anyway. Hmm. In any case, there's not much we can do about it now. Let's keep moving. Okay. When we finally reach Dr. Takizawa's lab, the scientist isn't anywhere in sight when we open the door. However, eek! An attack. He must have been experimenting us. Experiment. Wait a minute. It might be friendly. Everyone calm down. Friendly? Calm down? What are you two talking about? If it's friendly, why is it looking at us that way? Dr. Takizawa is trying to train a guardian as his assistant. Come to think of it, he didn't quite explain what he wants the Guardian for. It might just be for the sake of science. Or his guard. No, really, it startled us too, but it's not going to attack. Easy for you to say. Just give it a chance. Okay, if you say so. Fine. The Guardian continues his approach until it's a few feet away from us. Oh, he knows more. Oh, that's awesome. Welcome to Dr. Taki's lot. Welcome to Dr. Takizawa's laboratory. Hey, you learn new words. It speaks? Yeah, Dr. Takizawa is experimenting with transcendent magic to see if he can give monsters the ability to communicate with humans. Wow. That's amazing. I look at her in surprise. I'm not sure if I've heard her pr ever praise Dr. Takizawa before. Um, I mean, it's still pretty dangerous and crazy, though. I will tell Dr. Takizawa that you are here. He knows even more than we last saw him. Oh my god, that's amazing. It turns away from us and heads deeper into the lab. This is quite an improvement from when we saw it last. After a few minutes, it returns with the scientist right behind it. Ah, you must be here to re for the results of my analysis. Make yourselves at home and I will give you the answers you seek. Stay alert. Her voice is quiet, but Dr. Takazawa gives her a puzzled frown. I do appreciate your remaining alert for my explanation, yes. She nods but stands with her hands poised above her daggers and she's ready to fight at a moment's notice. Aiko appears tense. She keeps glancing at the Guardian. She already casts the noise looks in her direction. I shift awkwardly from foot to foot. No matter how it turns out, I hope we get this over with soon. What is the matter with all of you today? What makes you think something is wrong? You seem all on edge. He glances at the guardian and looks back to us. Did my assistant startle you that much? He looks at me. Yet you and she or both should have known what to expect. Why do you seem so uncomfortable? I, uh, you'd like your analysis results, doctor. Very well, I'll need to retrieve my research notes, but first let's outline what we already know. The flowers you gave me grow at the sacred spring. But what prompted your interest in them was finding one that... He abruptly stops and frowns at all of us. I cannot lecture under these conditions. Tell me what the source of your discontent is so that we may remove it and return our thoughts to science. See, he wants to help us. Hmm. Shuri, you tell me what is going on here. Shuri looks at the rest of us. We can't stand around twiddling our thumbs forever. We need to get this to the bottom of this. Alright, Dr. Takizawa, tell us you don't have any connection to the Dark Wolves. I don't have any connection to the Dark Wolves. Why? See? Oh, brother. That's not good enough, Doctor. You people are serious about this, aren't you? You actually think I'm connected to the Dark Wolves? We 
have to check every possibility. Explain. If there's any chance at all that you're responsible, we have to look into it. Bah. I suppose you'll investigate every citizen? No, only those with some tie to the current situation. Your interest in ascendancy qualifies you. Since we intended to visit you anyway about your analysis, it makes sense to come here. Mm, a, a sound strategy. I approve. He approves of us investigating him? I didn't expect that. Very well, I'll play along. Let's suppose I'm the evil mastermind behind the attacks. Dr. Takizawa! It's purely a hypothetical situation. I assure you, if I was, however, what did you expect to happen next when I confess? Probably not. Of course not. I would feign innocence and tell you I have no connection to the Dark Wolves. Which you already said. And so, we're at an impasse. What will you do next? We exchange glances. This is why we need a better plan and hoping the prophecy will sort everything out. Let us search your lab. Very well, I'll show you everything. Perhaps then we can stop this nonsense. He walks to the door that leads deeper into the lab and she follows him. Oh no, no, no. We're, we're not going in there, are we? How else can we investigate his lab? What if it's a trap? Ugh, for the last time, I'm not going any further than this room. That's fine. Hayato, you'll stay with me, won't you? I don't want to be here all alone. Ugh, poor thing, but I think we should investigate the lab. I join Shiori and Shis at the door and we follow Dr. Takizawa inside. It leads to a hallway which turns after a few feet. Before I go around to the corner, I glance back at Aiko. She looks rather lonely all by herself in the other room, but also determined, like she might chain charge in to save us if we take too long. Hopefully things won't turn out that way. Once the hallway turns, it opens up to the rest of the laboratory with multiple doors and chambers. Wow, you poor oh, whammers. No, oh, this is where I keep my test subjects. As you can see, I treat them humanely. My research into ascendant magic has made that much more possible, by the way. Because you can use water from the sacred spring to understand what the monsters need? Exactly. Wait, if you go to the sacred spring for water, why did we have to get the flowers ourselves? I don't go, I send other adventurers. Have you told them the truth about the water? No, I merely yell about science a few times, and then they assume it's the mad scientist acting crazy again. Wait, don't tell me his mad scientist persona is all an act. No way, it's too constant. He must just play it up when those adventurers come. Now this room is here is where I conduct my research on the Guardian. It also serves as a good place for him to stay overnight, especially until I can be sure he won't go berserk and wreck the lab while I'm at home. He waves his hand around us. You may investigate anything you like, and I will answer any questions you have as long as they don't violate my test subjects' confidentiality. But they're monsters. How rude. Monsters have personal concerns, too. Monsters have feelings, too, you know? Okay. He shows us the entire lab without any tricks. We don't find anything suspicious. He's undoubtedly a bit crazy and researches everything that catches interest. But there's no sign that he's behind the dark wolves. That's everything. Are you satisfied? Yes. I'm satisfied. Me too. Finally. We head back to the outer room. Good. You're back. I was getting worried. Don't worry. We're fine. So that means... I find it highly improbable that a Dr. Dakizawa is behind the attacks. I've been saying that the entire time. Really? He didn't brainwash you to make you say that, did he? Dr. Takizawa throws his hands in the air. I have trained to resist brainwashing techniques and mind control. Do not worry. I saw nothing that could link Dr. Takizawa to the attacks, nor any trace of dark wolves in the lab. That seems like enough to convince even Aiko. Alright, um, sorry, Dr. Takizawa. I accept your apology if it means we can put this absurd accusation behind us and return our thoughts to matters of science. That sounds good to me. What did you learn about the flowers? You deduced a link between the flowers and the dark wolves, which led you to suspect a connection between the dark wolves and the sacred spring. This proved false. However, there is a reason these flowers are most commonly found there. What is it? The... I almost died. 
don't know what the heck that was. Let me get my research notes. Okay? He leaves us alone in the lab and out of room once again. I don't want to say I told you so, but he's still a mad scientist. What? Just because he's involved with the Dark Wolves doesn't mean he can't be up to something sinister. Dr. Takizawa's experiments are benevolent benevolent tests conducted for the good of humanity, and I'll prove it. She looks around the lab and walks to a chest sitting against the wall. She crouches beside it, opens it, and pulls out a small vial filled with clear liquid. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to drink it. What? Are you certain this is a wise course of action? Relax. That chest is where Dr. Takizawa stored experimental potions intended for human consumption. I helped him with his batch, and if I remember correctly, this one will either temporarily heighten my senses or grant me three seconds of invulnerability. Then you'll see he has humanity's best interests at heart. Everything about drinking an unlabeled experimental potion sounds bad, but there's nothing Aiko, Shis, and I can do as Shiori unseals the beaker and drinks the liquid in a single gulp. She stops and blinks at us, and she slowly puts down the beaker and blinks at us some more. All right. Well, what's wrong? Do you need to lie down? I feel strange. Oh, this can't be good. Restless and whoa, Jesus! Suddenly rushes towards me. Help me, Hayato. Oh, okay. What do you need? You. Uh, what? I need you, Hayato, right now. Yikes! Oh no, this is uncomfortable. Was that a love potion? Uh, uh, what are you doing? In case I had any doubts about her intentions. She begins tugging at my clothes and I step back to get away. Now wait a minute, Shiori. What's wrong? You said you would help. Yes, but I didn't know what you meant. And isn't every guy supposed to dream about a beautiful woman demanding his attention? That's not. Are you saying I'm not beautiful? What? No, I didn't. Then cooperate with me. Yeah, no, I don't want to. But Shiori, um, she really to get you to some privacy? Yes. No. Then, then should I go find a lawyer? <laughs> Please get a lawyer. A lawyer? Yes, fetching a lawyer would be wise. He can fight off Shiori and help Hayato press charges for assault. What? Why would Hayato press charges against me? We're just in my lab. Over Shiori's shoulder, I watched Dr. Takizawa emerge with a horrified expression on his face. How could you? In my lab. Did Dr. Takizawa want to drink potion from that chest over there and she went straight for Hayato? Oh, my head. Oh, good. She's back. She's back. She's back to normal. Good. She backs away from me and rubs her head. What did I just... She gives me a horrified look. Tell me that really didn't happen. Oh, uh, well... Ah! She rounds on Dr. Takizawa. What sort of potions do you put in that chest? I thought it was one work we worked on together. But instead of heightening my senses or granting me vulnerability, it... Ah! Don't tell me you drank my experimental hormonal enhancing libido potion. Doctor, I never. You're a what? In other words, that was a lust potion. Oh boy. I beg your pardon, but the scientific term was hormonal enhancing libido potion. Right, okay. Right. Why did you even have one of those? For completely moral and occasionally medical purposes, I assure you. He looks affronted by the implication that he'd use it for anything else. Uh-huh. It's still in the experimental stage. The final product will be much less alarming. How does he test something like this? If, it meant, if it's meant for humans, he can't try it on monsters. Does he have volunteers or use it on himself? Before I can ask, he turns to Shiori and shakes his head. How many times must I tell you to never drink an unlabeled potion without testing it first? I'll remember next time for sure. See that you do. Now, may we kindly return our thoughts to science? Yes, please. What did you learn about the flowers? Their seeds may lie dormant across the world. 
never to bloom as plentifully as they do there, you see. They require the presence of ascendant magic to grow. So if we want to find out where the dark holes come from, we need to find another place like the Sacred Spring. It could be an environmental source like the Sacred Spring, or someone with particularly strong ascendant magic. You mean if someone had that power, these flowers would start growing where they live? Exactly. That sounds like what we're looking for then. Someone with powerful ascendant magic would be able to control the dark wolves, and it would explain the presence of the flower. Now we just need to find another place where these flowers bloom. I will see if I can learn anything else that may be of use to you. Thank you. And I really am sorry for suspecting you. Stop apologizing unless you want to be my new test subject to make up for it. No! Ha ha ha! Until we find any new clues, we should continue with our original plan. That means we're off to high water next. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I read that as Hogwarts. I recommend we return to Lightshire for the night and head there tomorrow. That sounds good to me. Nice. It's a quiet journey back to Lightshire, although Shiori is clearly delighted that Dr. Takizawa proved himself innocent. He did indeed. By the time we get back, I'm more tired than I expected. I say goodnight to the others and head to the inn to get some sleep. Is High Cleric Ninsai the culprit, or is it someone else? We'll know soon enough, and we need to have a better plan. We can't rush in there hoping for the prophecy to take care of things. The prophecy. It nags at my thoughts as I lie down and try to fall asleep. Why me? If Lightshire needs a hero from another world, why am I the one? But I don't have any more answers than I did on our way to the lab, and I finally drift away. You seem unhappy. Are you lonely? I want to be your friend. Won't you be my friend? Oh, that's a weird dream. Cock a doodle doo. Thank you for waking us up, Mr. Rooster. But we're gonna have to wait to continue our day. I am going to leave this episode here. I am so sorry that I ended this one early. But all in all, this is a good game, like I've said before, and I am absolutely enjoying it. And I hope you're still enjoying it as well. For now, I'm going to leave the episode here. So thank you so much for watching. And like always, I will catch you all in the next video. Stay awesome. Bye.